Yo, so Asha Ife in the building. And also, we got a producer, Virtue, in the building. Hey, Virtue. Do you want to say hello? Hello, everybody. Yes. <laughs> Virtue. <laughs> He's smooth like that, too, yes. as well. So let's get right into it. Asha Ife, where are you from? Ooh, that's a great question. Yeah. Um, so just based on my identity and my, my brand, I say that I'm from the universe. I like to keep mm. it that way. Yeah. <laughs> the universe. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So so how'd you get into music? Like I, I know music is your thing, so how'd you get into it? Sure. Actually um, Was it other artists on Pluto that kinda <laughs> you? Or, like how'd that go? All the artists on Pluto, they're fantastic. Um but yeah, I I think I just it was about a few years ago, twenty thirteen, I got some inspiration. I had okay. some things going on in my life where it felt like everything was crashing and falling and then yeah. I just started writing a lot and I was working at a place where they had a lot of poetry and a lot of arts and a lot of you know just inspiration around me everywhere yeah. so I was I just started writing and I I've always been surrounded by music and my family and oh. um with my friends so I just felt inspired when you when you That's say great. your family was your family playing music or were they like or were they musicians as well uh they weren't musicians but I would just growing up in the car um and Around the house, I'd hear like yeah. Michael Jackson, James Brown, like all the oldies, mm. just you know, filled with soul. Fans and, um, of music, yeah, yeah, just 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 okay. inspire me. And, yeah. and also, my grandfather was um, a visual artist, so I was just always uh, surrounded by these what I call you know energies. Yeah, right. But, yeah. but that's what, that, that's what I see when you came in with the energy that you uh, have. You bring the vibe of Carnival. You bring uh, the happiness. You. you bring bring that that spirit. So when when you have your track, when you have your tracks, is that what you? Flow through it. Is that your 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 music type and your your vision of what you do? The colorfulness. I would say that yeah, that's my spirit. Mm. Like I'm entirely colorful, even though sometimes in my everyday life I wear lots of black. <laughs> um, but but my but the face is is kind of an illumination of what's inside of me. Mm. Um, and then I do have um, a piece of my family that was from Barbados. So mm. that is. Mm little, you know, splash of what you said at the carnival. Uh, so, yeah. so you might be cool. some kin to Rihanna then. Uh, I, huh? I, may, I might be kin to her. That would be okay. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, all right. Stop. Stop. That's cool. That's cool. So um, from there, so your influences, uh, Michael Jackson, James Brown, um, you have any uh, current influences? Do, do you like the state of music today? Like what's going on? Oh, man. That's Are you such feeling a that? large question. I heard SZA. Yeah, yeah. SZA is fantastic. Yeah. Um, I would say I really admired uh, Amy Winehouse. Mm-hmm. Um, her voice is just so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, definitely. I mean, Erica Badu, obviously, and DRE, people, neo soul type vibes growing up. Um, and then also someone who really inspires me is Ella Fitzgerald. And mm-hmm. that's from like way back, you know what I mean? And my yeah. my music isn't necessarily fully jazz, but it's it has that energy sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think uh, there's just a lot of. A lot of vibes coming back right now that are kind of similar to SZA and probably Ella Fitzgerald mixed together in terms of singers, not just, you know, female singers, but uh, yeah. like Daniel Caesar, I think is fantastic. Mm. I love his music. I think his name is Khalid or Khalid <laughs> from Texas. Mm. He's amazing. Oh, yeah. Um, He's just dope. Yeah. There's very, a lot of different things dope. out there. Yeah. Very, very mm-hmm. dope. Oh, also Kay Chinada. Love him so much. Where's he from? Kay Chinada. He's from Canada. I'm not okay. sure. Oh, Toronto? Toronto? Yeah, Toronto. Oh, yeah. Toronto? Dope, dope. Do you have any favorite? I know we asked this question, but do you have any favorite composers that are out there? I know you have Virtue. Virtue is Oh, man. most definitely Virtue. But, um, <laughs> do you have any uh, favorite composers that are out there that you're just like, wow, I can't get enough of, of, of listening to this piece of music? You know who's awesome? Yeah. Um, Pharrell. Pharrell. Yeah. Pharrell. He, yeah. I didn't know what it is. He has like this musical ear, I guess, or yeah. something that like, Everything he touches is magical to yeah. me. Even if, even like that, uh, what was that song? The Happy Song. Some mm-hmm. people were like annoyed yes. by it eventually because they were like, they're playing it so much, you mm-hmm. know. But yeah. I just thought it was fantastic because he, in Granite, there's some songs that like have similar me- melodies, but yeah. um, it just is a beautiful, like natural, happy energy yeah. <laughs> with mm-hmm. all this music that he makes. Yeah. Speaking of happy, yeah. did you know that song was written for CeeLo Green? You know, I can see that. I can hear it was written CeeLo for CeeLo all Green. over that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they were looking for uh, another song for uh, that soundtrack that it went on. Okay. And Pharrell's like, "Well, I got this song that CeeLo didn't pick up. He played it for Hans, so... and he's like, 
<laughs> yeah, I want that. And then it did what it did. Oh, I love that it's story. Crazy. Yeah. I feel like level. all the songs have like beautiful yeah. backstory. Yeah. Pharrell's pretty dope. Do you watch mm-hmm. Other Tones on uh, Apple Music? No, no. Tell me about that. Other Tones is a radio show that Pharrell has with mm-hmm. Apple Music and yeah, I Am Other. Everything, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. So uh, he he has his dopest guests, and and all of his guests are like left to center. So. Maybe yeah. that's your second no, uh, place to go. Yeah, definitely there. After yeah. this, you can <laughs> right go there. Here. We just set up the alley hoop for you, for <laughs> So if yeah, you're listening real. in right now, uh, yeah, we got you. Yeah, we got no you. No problem. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, how'd you guys meet? What's the story behind that? Because I know this well, guy, and he's dope. Yeah, he's super dope. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's so interesting. We, I, I feel like our spirits just met. <laughs> yeah. You know, at some point we we actually met on a musical note um, yeah. originally. We met um, around a lot of other musicians. Okay. Um, there was like a band involved and stuff like that. And, you know, our mutual friends were just great energy as well. We just, yeah. just kind of linked up. And I've always believed in him as a producer, as an artist. Yeah. He's a fantastic writer as well. So, um, yeah, it just it kind of evolved into our... Musical relationship. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. So you guys are uh, producing this project right now. Um, what's what's the name of the project? Is it is it an EP? Is it an album? What what, what 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 form is uh, it in now? <laughs> so yeah, we don't have like an official name yet because okay. the mixtape that's already out on SoundCloud it's called Le Masque Part Part Uno. <laughs> okay. It's just some weird like that. I have all these different languages in there, <laughs> um, but. Yeah, so the original EP was supposed to be called Le Masque, which means mask in French. Okay. Um, so we're going to probably play with that idea for this upcoming official debut EP, whereas the first one was a mixtape. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> dope, dope, dope. So um, what are you working on right now? I mean, besides this project. Yeah, virtue in the house. <laughs> um, I'm working with a couple other artists. Uh, one of the other artists I'm working with, uh, she's based out of L.A. Her name's Uma. Okay. Um, we have a lot of cool music together. We just had a release come out on July 23rd called Golden. Okay. It's on Apple Music, Spotify. Check it out. Oh. Um, great song. Uh, she's an amazing songwriter. Um, and uh, working with a couple of other artists. Uh, shout out to Reggie Bishop. Shout out to Amir Hassan. Um, just other really talented cats that yeah. you know, you'll know you be hearing about soon. I'll be bringing their tracks in. So. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, we'd love to have them on the show. I mean, if they're <laughs> as great as you guys, we'll definitely love to have them. So um, should we play some music from you guys now? I mean, Ooh, I mean, yeah. what, what, do, what do you suggest? <laughs> I, you sent me some music today. Everything's dope, so... Yeah, give, so me let's give me a give, lead. Let's give, and, a, let's give them a sample, uh, man. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you could... Uh, do you want to play the track that... Asha and I have done? Yes. Uh, yes. It's unreleased. This is a is that the fresh silver, track. Silver Jungle? Yeah, Silver okay. Jungle. Is this an exclusive we got? This is exclusive it's unreleased. Exclusive. Oh, nice. I like that, right? Yeah. Cool. That's what I'm talking about. You heard it here first from Digital Radio. Digital Radio, bring it yeah. out. Yeah. So, so what's behind this track, Silver Jungle? Because I've never been to a Silver Jungle. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know that there concept. exists. <laughs> like, come on. Uh-oh. Give us some insight. Wow. I've never been to a jungle, Actually, I'm except, Dis- <laughs> except Disneyland, maybe the Jungle Cruise. Yeah. Or like I've been um, to, uh, Rainforest yeah. Cafe. Yeah, yeah. Rainforest yeah. Cafe. There we go. Yeah. I've been there. That's yeah. the closest thing. Yeah. 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 Get to you know, that's funny because I have a, a very, lots of vivid childhood memories about Rainforest Cafe. Wow. So maybe that was like a subconscious thing for the song. Um, but yeah, actually we worked with another um, producer named Nelson Thomas, and he originally okay. made some of the chords for this song and then virtue full out produced it. Yeah. Um, and he named that track silver jungle. So I'd actually have to go back and ask him like, where wow. did that inspiration come from? Um, but when I first heard the track, um, I've always connected to animals. Mm-hmm. Silver is my favorite color um, mm. in terms of like how it reflects light and it, it's not really on the rainbow, but again, it's that the other concept, you know, wow. how it's something different. Wow. Um, and then, I don't know. I think I want to let the lyrics and the and the melodies, the production speak for itself. Because yeah. It's, yeah. It's a lot of different messages within this track. So oh, <laughs> that's cool, cool that uh, you guys took a track from a from a producer and kept the name. I'm a producer myself. Yeah. And I'll send a track. It's called Lovely Day. <laughs> It'll end up being like 
rainy summers or something. <laughs> She's like, oh, you just went and flipped my... But that's what I felt. Just, I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. No, I, I, I mean, I, can I let Roshi jump in about this Absolutely. for a second? But I was Absolutely. just going to say, um, and he can talk about the collaborative process of producing a track, but I just I just think that we really believe as artists and like yeah. just really sharing the energies between each other. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yes. And as a producer, it's funny to like name your tracks and then oftentimes the artist will what your, take that track what in, or track. whatever you named it and like write something based off that, which is dope. Because it's like, that's what I was yeah. feeling when I made it. You took that concept and that's how you felt when you yeah. wrote it. So... Uh, Did you watch the Defiant ones? Uh, Anybody yet. watch I the Defiant to. ones? Oh, have no. you watched the Defiant Not ones yet? yet? No. No. I've seen scenes. <laughs> I'm, I've seen the scenes, like yeah. important scenes from it. Man. Yeah. Do you, do you remember, Tiz, do you remember yeah. when DOC was like, uh, he wrote all the Easy's raps and yes. stuff like that? Yes. And then they would have interviews and he would be in the corner and Easy will be like explaining the tracks and everything like uh -huh. that. He's like, yeah, what were you thinking, Easy? Yeah, I was thinking about being with this girl and in the and club and doing this. DLC and in DLC the back is like, just fuming, like, what? And he can't talk about what it. I, <laughs> that's not wrote what that I That song, I wrote that song, but he couldn't say that he wrote yeah, that song. So, exactly. Yeah, that's that feeling of a producer giving his work to a... No, that's a part of your cool. you know when you put that out there as a producer and you lay it down that's a part of your soul that's your that's what you're doing you're letting, yeah, yeah. letting it out to the world so you want it to come in its original form yeah, yeah. wait one, one yeah. more little plug a shout out we actually have a song called afro picks that he initially produced and i kept the name of the song as well that was the original name of the track so yeah. that's another one coming up with the ep was it inspired by the afro Literally, it was. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. He's like, this one's for you. Yeah. No, it was funny because when we, we first met, uh, I didn't know Asha made music. So it was yeah. just like, I just met her, we vibed, and then it was like, oh, I make music. And I was like, what was your sound? And she kind of described her sound to me. Yeah. So, like, just off of her description, I went home and just like lay down some chords, lay down some drums. And I named it Afro Fix, and then I sent it to her. That was like the first song we cut together. That's cool. Wow. Yeah. Well, see, go no, ahead. no, I was if, go ahead. Really quick, that's the difference between a producer and for all you young producers, th there's a difference between a beat maker and a producer. Producers can see the song from start to finish, mm -hmm. not just making the beat. If you send, if you make beats and you just have them online, people pick them up and then record to the to your beats. That's not a producer. Producer. Envisions the, the the vocal on there, the t the concept of the track. For example, Afro Picks. If it, if it goes all the way to the end of the the title of the song, that's that's a producer to me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, I, I agree one hundred percent. Yeah, you know, yeah. When I uh, work with artists, I like to tell them up front, like I don't make like cookie cutter beats. Like I, because right. they they'll be like, can you send me something that I can like write to? And it's like I don't have beats just sitting like that. I like wait yeah. to find out who you are. And yeah, express that music, right. you know. That's kind of that's yes. kind of composing. That's, com that, that's, a composer, say, that's a composer, you know? right? Like that's yeah. a producer, but that's a that's a composer to actually. It's just like scoring a film. You like scoring that person. Well, yeah. that's what that's what yeah. producers were back in the day. Yeah. And nowadays, yeah. producers are are loosely thrown. That word is loosely thrown to mm. where totally. someone that's making a beat on their phone or whatever yeah. is called a producer. Right. Just because they have beats. Yeah. You, you are you are a dinosaur. You know that, right? They don't make you anymore. <laughs> You're a awesome. modern dinosaur. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, they don't make you no more. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I and mean, a lot of my inspiration comes from, you know, older cats like Quincy Jones and just like what yeah. he's able to do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Really. Paint a portrait and you're just yeah. like, that's what it is about being a producer Rick Rubin. You know, yeah. Those yeah. guys. And it's like they take production to that next level. It's not about always just playing on an NPC or something. And even like Kanye's like vision, amazing. Like yes. he's one of my mm -hmm. biggest influences when it comes to production. So. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. So without further ado, I would just want to hear this song, man. You guys yeah. are giving me yeah, goosebumps yeah, yeah. talking about Let's it. Let's do it. We might as well just go into yeah. this song. You ready to hear this song? I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. You heard it here first. No. Okay. Radio sound okay. That's Bobby. That's we breaking Bobby. records. That's what we doing. We breaking records. Woo. Yes. Yeah. 
Man. That track is nice. That track is real nice. Ooh, give me goose yeah. bumps. Can we get my strong yeah. on that one or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Felt like I went to the jungle. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Heard Thank the little birds know. in the background. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that I'll was cool. That, yeah. It was vibey. Yeah. It was really Thank vibey. You. Yo, I, I always say goosebumps. Yeah. Never lie. They don't lie. Okay. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> they don't lie. Yeah, I remember I was when dope. I first sent you the track even before it was massive. Yeah. I sent you the track. Yeah, I was vibing listen, then. And you were like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm oh, so excited. That's, that's you? That's you? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds that's hot. Surprise. That's hot. Yeah. Thank that's you when guys you know. so much. Nice so when is when is this coming out? When is like the release date yeah. on this? Yeah, you guys got a release date, date on this? I uh, not an exact one. Yeah. We're actually uh <laughs> working on getting some distribution set up right now. So okay. as soon as that's settled, hopefully in the next like couple of weeks. Okay. You know? oh, <laughs> okay. I mean the All master's right. done. You guys just had it. So right. you know And this is a, a single or it's part of the in the whole yeah, cohesive E P so, album. So yeah, it's just single. I guess it's weird. I know the music industry is changing with those things, but yeah, yeah it's technically it a single. Okay, and it'll be on the EP as well. Okay, cool. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, that's the goal. Right. Yes. Make sure y'all are paying attention. Go cop that one. That's nice. Sil- Silver Jungle. Yes. Silver Jungle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look out. So, so here's the thing. I got a remix from Virtue. Yes. Um, is this a style? Because I heard it and I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it didn't make you do that, that did it? Yeah, it's actually, yeah. it's actually yeah. an original track. It's an original it's track. It's an original, yeah. Wow. Uh, it's funny how it came about, though. Yeah, tell it us. Kind of. Uh, so my girlfriend's mom has a, she runs like a dance studio and uh, she was doing a dance with uh, her kids okay. and she was like, I need a track. Like theme is like parenting and stuff like that. So yeah. she wanted me to sample Stewie from Family Guy where he's just like, <laughs> mom, mom, mom. So like yeah. I took that and like made basically that beat, but then uh, uh, I threw it to my producer homie uh, up in Vancouver, Animal, shout out to Animal. Yeah. Uh, he took it and then like we just turned it into this EDM banger you're, you're about to hear it. It's I just remember crazy. that scene in that, so, and I remember the mom, scene. Yeah, the sample's no yeah. longer in there because uh, we can't sell that. But uh, <laughs> it's a new track. But yeah, it was inspired by that originally. Wow. So, right on. You never know where you get your inspiration from, man. It's funny, man. Especially with like constraints and limitations. I feel yeah. like that's just when yeah. magic happens. So right. Yeah. The composer. Yeah. Jeez, right, man. Right. Okay, let's uh, let's go right into that. I know yeah. it's back to back. That's but, okay, man. Yeah. I'm vibing yeah, cool. on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah this track is uh, called Flora. Sound art expression. That was yeah. a breath of fresh music. Yeah. Two for two, baby. <laughs> Man, y'all make a Man. mean team. I'm telling you what. I'll make a mean team. Yeah. What was the name of that one? That one's called Flora. Flora. Oh, yeah, Flora. That's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Animal and Virtue on that. I was thinking Mom yeah. or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll have to play you guys the original OG OG version okay, that yeah. inspired that one day. Dude, and I, just, I just noticed this. <laughs> virtue you have the, the, the sideways v and greater than hey you're so, creative. <laughs> so creative that's dope man tiz you got some questions man. no i mean i just you know i was gonna go into some other things but i, I mean we just vibing on this music right now yeah. um wow yes that's awesome man dope. you know Thank it's you. it's really it's really really refreshing to you know be able to hear some music that you just sit back and you go, okay hold up that mm-hmm. that's, that right there I can see that doing some things, you know, because everybody's trying to put out something. Right. Everybody's doing things, yeah. but they take special composers and artists and people out there doing some stuff to make this stuff happen. So I had to. Are you a DJ as well? well? Or yes. DJ as well. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. uh-huh. I can hear the DJ elements and mm-hmm. yeah. a lot of DJs, producer DJs are, mm-hmm. are, it's like you could do a whole set rocking that kind of stuff. Oh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. So, yeah. He's a dope DJ. Yeah, it's Matter of fact, uh, I heard it. Yeah. We kind of do Monday nights together at <laughs> Library Bar. Yeah. And oh, check yeah. us out, me and Journey. Oh, yeah. this is the okay, yeah. okay. We go two okay. by two. Oh, two we go do back to back. It's crazy. It's something yeah. special. Yeah. Hey, here's, All right. here's the thing about Journey, man. When I meet dope people, yes, I take them in as friends, man. Like we do stuff. No, it's real. Right, right. Like this it's world with, with with superheroes together. <laughs> 
It's it's a great place. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm trying to tell you, it's a great place. I, I, I already know. I noticed something else. I don't know if you guys have noticed. <laughs> okay. The mask? <laughs> Did you guys notice the mask? Yeah, no. I, I the mask. Are you serious? I, I just thought that's that just righteous. Okay. <laughs> I thought that well, was it. Do, do you always wear the mask? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, and what's what's the what's the meaning behind the mask? Uh, so it's it's a couple things. So on an artistic level, it's a metaphor for the mask that we wear every day. You know, like ain't that the truth? Uh, yeah. There's just so many levels of of self. There's so many different parts of yourself, yeah. and depending on what environment you're in, you might only show one aspect, or you might show all of it and then hide something else or whatever. And it's not really about secrecy, but it's about just acknowledging that as humans we have these different layers. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But then also, and then through my music, trying to be more vulnerable about what's behind that mask. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then also on a practical level, I think this idea of fame is really interesting. <laughs> and it's, it's I don't know, I don't know. I think sometimes no, it's cool. if you think of like a Beyonce type, people, she can't walk in the park <laughs> right. without people yeah. jumping on top of Artistic, her. Artistic, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, so like trying to create that distinction between Asha yeah. Ife and my day-to-day life or whatever, yeah. yeah Tiz <laughs> got cool. a hard time walking in the park too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's attacked by all sorts of things. <laughs> We make jokes here about Tis the hard time. Tis the hard right. time. No. That's cold, man. I know. I get, I get you back for earlier. But, uh, I mean, on that note, uh, yeah. we have a question that we always ask our guests when, when uh, we have them on. Uh, 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 they're coming to both of y'all. Oh, okay. now, this, this is for both of you. This is for both of you. Did thing, I, I see I, Asha Ife run away? Yeah. No. <laughs> Where you going? <laughs> Um, nice. Yeah, so I, I sent Asha um, Ife the uh, the question earlier, so she had some time to think about it. So mm. I think she's going to throw virtue on the spot here. Yes. Uh, our question is for the day. I'll let, I'll let Lester go because he, he is, in his, the question qu- is yeah. The question is what is your superpower? Jeez. Hmm. Do we already hear it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is your yeah, super, what is your superpower? <laughs> Not what you would like it to be, but what is this? Is, this is a question uh, we'd like you to answer. I or? guess that I, I'm a dreamer, man. Like, I don't see limits. Like, really, mm. like I actually just think of the craziest things, and that could be something because I thought of it. <laughs> like, why not? That's the drive. That's the drive behind. That's the force yeah. that you have. Yeah. No limits. No limits. No limits. That's cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, I'd say that, or like, I'm I'm really good with people and connecting with people, no matter what your background is. That's, that's a good just one. A matter of like listening and uh-huh. knowing that there's another human being in front of you, and that person has the same experience as you. They were a kid once. They yeah. had parents. They didn't get to choose those parents. They didn't get to choose their right. religion. They That's a powerful choose, one right there. You know, Trip like, digital yeah. radio crossing borders. I like that. Yeah. Right right That's here. a powerful That's one. It. Yeah. That's big talk right you know, there, man. Like, yeah. I would love for, you know, people to just like open up their perspective on that sometimes because I think we get so hold into like what we should be yeah. based off of things we had no control over. Mm-hmm. Right. And then after that, you know, that defines who we are as opposed to understanding that, you know, Life is suffering, and suffering isn't any one person's problem. It's everyone's. Yeah. So, like, why are we not doing tackling it together? You know. Right. That's what's up, man. A deep. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. That's, that's, why, that's cool. why we do art, man. Yeah. <laughs> Sound art expression. There, there you go. It is. There it is. <laughs> I really don't know how I'm gonna go after. You want to follow that? That's yeah. what I'm saying. That was dope. It's about, like, but it's yeah. individual. Yeah. It's, yeah. Individual. it's about superpowers coming together, so, and that, that's that's what made. Um, what you guys have. I, I actually made him go first because I have no idea. Like it's just so hard. Well, you're like, you're halfway there. You already got the costume. You already got the the superhero costume. There you go. Thank you. Um. Um. I can I say two maybe one okay the one main one I initially thought of was my my vision or my mm. intuition or my telepathy I feel yeah. like I have this very strong connection to the universe the world the mm-hmm. all the people that exist in it I think that we're all kind of connected through this like really tightly woven web you know mm-hmm. and we all yeah. um, mm-hmm. but some people literally 
and I do sometimes literally have visions of things that are coming and of, of art that's going to be created, of how the world's going to be. And it's it's kind of trippy sometimes. It's kind of like eerie. It's, you know, gives you the goosebumps and um, it makes me a little emotional Ooh, at times. That's, that's another show. <laughs> that's another show. Yeah, yeah. 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 we got to invite you just, just, just for that. Just for, I know, yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. So, um, um, but that connectivity, I think, is what gives me that power. Yeah. Um, and yeah. then above all, everything is what we were talking about is love. I think I'm. Yeah. So I think my purpose mm-hmm. on this planet and in this universe is to teach people how to love. So. Wow. Yeah. Love. yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey. So glad I had you guys. <laughs> yeah. Is, so glad we had you guys. This was a. <laughs> this was a, this was a very good. Situation. It was a lovely Thank day. You, yeah. Good track. It was. Oh, lovely day. <laughs> lovely <laughs> day. <laughs> Maybe we should load that one so up next. That. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> So, so we're gonna close out now. Where could they find you, Virtue, on social media? Uh, all my social medias at this is Virtue. So SoundCloud, Twitter, Instagram. I'm not that active. I'm in the studio cooking. So <laughs> understand. <laughs> yeah, that's just what it is. Um, it will be though. Yeah, it will be. It will be one day. So, <laughs> so. Asha Ife, where could they find you on social media? Yeah, so you can find me Asha Ife Music. On Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, and I, Instagram, things like that. I want you to spell that out for them, yes. please. Oh yes. Oh, goodness. Yes. Please get the spelling right. <laughs> <laughs> it's Asha, A-S-H-A, mm-hmm. Ife, I-F-E, music. So Asha, cool. Ife, music, no spaces. And, cool. That's uh, yeah. how I pictured it in my head. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's like it sounds. Yeah. Asha, Ife, yeah. Ife, yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you guys so much. This has been such a pleasure. You guys. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Yeah. And you guys got to come back because yeah. we want to know how the project is going. Oh, and yeah. definitely, uh, definitely want to hear more <laughs> from you, Virtue. We will. And where you Absolutely. travel to yes. because of the project and all the big time stuff you're doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be so big yeah. Time. Like this guy's seriously watch out for Virtue. He's going to be. Both of you. No, I got I'm closer. I'm like, <laughs> dude. I got before we Before we leave. Riding. Before we leave, just dope music. Look, yeah. Really dope music. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's my new friend. <laughs> it's, it's my friend. It's my friend. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, Yo, like you heard it here first. Trip Digital Radio Sound Art Expression. Peace. Stay tuned. Yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up? Thank you for watching Trip Digital Sound Art Expression. Make sure that you like and subscribe this video. We're waiting for you.